Hi friends, welcome to my channel. This is Leela. So we are learning about the React JS, and here we are creating a post. So here, if we go to the add post, we have successfully got the title and descriptions and uh, description. And now we need to submit an AJAX call post request to send the data to save the data in the database. Now here, what we will try to do is so here I will try to do constant post data is equal to something like i can write title and description directly okay so this is the post data now i need to send a ajax request so here what i can do axios dot post so we need to know the endpoint urls as we already know here if i open in the firebase this is our endpoint url and here what i will try to do thing axios okay we need to import the axios top and here i need to submit a post right so i need to use the post.json so now when i need to submit the post request so i need to send again post data that's it so now if i click on dot then of response then here i can console.log response okay right now we did the successfully created the post so for here what we are doing so on create post when the form is submitted on create post we are taking the data we are framing the data the post request and we are sending the post request here okay let's try to see the output here now if i go to the react tab do this one all let's refresh this one again uh, what we need to do is here i need to create a post here sample post sample add post or something like this okay here what i can do sample description post now when i click on create post so here we got a data that successfully it has been submitted so in the network if you try to see in the post.json in the post.json sorry here we are trying to send the request okay so successfully we are able to submit the request so top at we try to see we are not able to see the post if i try to refresh this page again so now we will be able to see the three posts yeah successfully we are able to see the three posts so here this is the sample add post what is that post we have submitted so now what we need to do is the problem here as soon as i add this post here this has to be reflected this has to be reflected at the top in the post list we need to reflect it automatically how we can do the that one so here let's try to do here what we'll try to do is here this is the post.json right so here what i will try to do is let's go here at the bottom and here on post added okay i am sending here on post added okay is equal to so now i need to call a method so something like uh, what i will try to do is this dot uh, what i need to do i need to call again this axios post.json so what i will do is here i will try to do this one this dot get post something like this okay so here i will try to do get post is equal to okay this is the method and i can paste this one all directly and this get post i will try to call it here at the bottom so when we successfully the post is added please call this method now what i will try to do here i will go here and when this when we got the successfully so here i will do props dot on post added directly we can call it this one so now let's try to see the output here what will happen now successfully we are able to and now i will try to create a post here lila post latest post something like this okay now i will click on the create post see here automatically the latest post has been added here it is added i am not able to see latest post yeah lila post latest post see this has been added okay so now if i try to add it again some with some, some random data okay so here you are able to add it so now automatically we are able to see but the design is not nice so if i click on the here anything so we are able to see the details but the design is not nice let's try to do some design what i can do is here in the post.js is the responsible guy so here we are showing the post data so this is the flex and here we will be having single post what i can do here is this is the single post right so 
not this one now functional single post details post.js okay here flex what i can do for this single post.js this is the thing so here i can write something like flex hyphen one so that take one okay if i try to refresh this page how it will right look let's try to see so e so it is not changing and here what i can write in the post.js flex flex hyphen wrap okay so wrap the data so it is going out of the box so now if i try to refresh this one what it will happen yeah now we are able to see perfect i will what i will try to do is i will try to add in the post.js something like my hyphen 2 top, top and bottom i will try to add a margin so now margin has been successfully applied if i try to click on this post here i am able to see this one but here the gap we need to keep so what we'll try to what i will do is here i can go to the this is the w3 by 4 right so here i can add something like mx so let's try to see the output how it will look see now if i click here so somewhat gap we are able to see if you want to add more gap so what i can do is i can do mr instead of doing that one and i can add for this this all comes under the designing concept so this is out of box but i am showing you how we can do so here i am able to so if i click on the create post here down i am able to add it and if i do and here automatically create post so it is added directly by the bottom with the bottom here so this is how we are able to we are able to see the updated updated added post details also so now we have successfully did the create post and also we have did the post details also and upon successfully showing that create post we are showing this one also and we are successfully doing this one and another thing what we can do is so upon successfully adding this create post we, we need to we need to close this create post form so how we can do this one so let's go into here and here what i can do is on post added this dot get post we are writing right we are writing right in this this dot get post here this dot set state set state of is add a is add post of false i am making this one as a false first time okay so this is how i'll be making now if you try to see the output so okay now i am trying when i try to click here so i am adding your post here click so this one has been gone and we are able to see the data now here if i click on again create post okay we are able to add it again okay so this is how we are able to successfully do this one okay so this is how we are able to do the show the single post details and we are able to successfully push the data also and when uh, successfully directly adding this post when we are showing this post data also we are able to lifting the state up okay emptying the event okay this is the post data and in the next video we'll try to see how we can delete the post okay if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you